The qualities that I think of um, when, I, when I think about Elaine and Jerry um, are hard work, um, excellence, discipline, and results. It doesn't take long to see that they live their values and their spirit of philanthropy in the way they live, in the way they've raised their family and their grandchildren is such a model for the community. They have raised three children who all live in this community and who all um, reflect the values of Elaine and Jerry in, in the way they live. So when you put Shelley Bowerly Copel and Rick Bowerly and Dina Walls and their spouses and their kids and you put them all together, the impact that the Bowerly family has just has tentacles that go out all over the place. And it will, it will last for a long, long time. Elaine and I have uh, always uh, thought that it was really important to give back. We've been very blessed with wonderful kids and great, great grandkids. And, and they're not great, great grandkids. We're not that old, but uh, wonderful grandkids. And, uh, and we've earned a living and we've earned the right to retire. And uh, so we feel that now is, as we have throughout our life, it's time to uh, give back. Uh, as someone once said, for uh, pay a little rent for the space God's given us on earth. They are invested in their community. They participate, they contribute, and there's always this incredible feeling of authenticity and positive energy around them. Well, I think there's a certain magic in giving. And our shield at Bowerly Brothers uh, was Serbo cum superbia, and that is Latin that uh, my mother actually came up with that said serve with pride. So uh, as we went about building our roads and parking lots and, and foundations and so forth, we thought that was important work but also serving the communities in which we live and work was also very, very important. They're very good role models to us grandchildren and their kids. Um, if anyone's um, in need of help or um, anything, they're always willing to help. They're always the first one to um, kind of be there and just offer anything that they need. Giving back, it makes you like realize the stuff that you have and that to give back to people that don't have it is like a good feeling and like you want to do that. Um, you can't be so selfish and that other people need things more than you do. Our Christmas task this year was we got a certain amount of money and um, they told us that we had to decide where we wanted to give the money to. They each got $150 um, December 1st and um, they said, oh, this is great, I'll get this or that. And I said, no, you have to spend it on somebody else and somebody that's in need and you can do anything you want with it. It can be an organization, it can be a family, it can be a person, it can be somebody at school, but then I want you to spend every penny and you have to write a report. And they all wrote their reports and Christmas Eve, I sat and cried <laughs> at their reports. I gave some to a Humane Society because I really love animals. I also gave some to Big Brothers Big Sisters because I am a member or I am a mentor. Um, and then I also gave some to the Salvation Army. I went in there and I asked like how many kids there were at um, Anna Marie's. Anna Marie's and um, then I went out and bought presents and then gave it to them on Christmas. I gave some to the Humane Society and then I gave some to my school, St. John's Area School. And then I spent some for trees for the starfish women. I suspect that Elaine and Jerry hope their legacy will be um, experienced mostly through their children and grandchildren and the kinds of lives they lead. I hope when I'm at their age, I can have as big as a heart as they did and I can be as nice and loving as they are and that I can be as like 
for example, there was a hurt bunny that their dog got a hold of and they took care of it for a while and then set it back free when it was better again. And I hope I can be as nice as to hurt people or hurt animals as they were. We'd just like to say thank you so much for this award. It's um, truly humbling and, uh, and an honor to receive. And uh, I think Elaine expressed it very well that there are a lot of other people that deserve it uh, as much as we do, but we're sure glad to get it.